curiosity. So I had first heard of these concepts of good guy traits, bad guy traits, or attraction and comfort from ironically a guy named Mystery, uh, Eric Von Markovitz. It's like 15 ah. years ago. I met Mystery. Mm -hmm. We had a conversation about it. It was really interesting stuff. You know, he was obviously a famous pickup artist, whatever, and he and I are yeah. still friends. And in, in, in doing that, I moved to Las Vegas, and one of the things that I saw was women, they would go to these different events and these modeling agencies would bring atmosphere models, and the women were treated like cattle. The dudes were excessively rude to them. Mm -hmm. I watched this happen over and over again, and I got this concept. I was like, what if we didn't treat them like cattle, but I could still maintain boundaries? And then I learned about pre-selection or what you yep. talk about, mate choice copying. And I was like, what yep. if I just use pre-selection as an attraction trigger? I maintain my boundaries, but I'm still really fucking n nice to them. Nice to them like yeah. a friend. I don't give, I don't stare at their boobs. I don't give them special treatment because they're hot. What if that <laughs> happened? And I will tell you how math, it has been outrageously effective, outrageous, yeah. outrageously effective in the number mm -hmm. of women that e come into my life that had wanted to date me or wanted to come to my events or introduce me to other women. That was probably the most successful strategy. And I didn't know. It was a ex total experiment while I was doing. But when I listen to you and Sadia Khan, it makes m way more sense to me. I'm able yeah. to, I'm secure enough to where I can still do the good guy things and maintain mm -hmm. a boundary. If I was yep. just doing the good guy things because she was attractive and I was willing to yep. go outside of myself, I'm paying for flights for women who don't give me barely any, any attention. I'm like, I'll fly yeah. you out. That is a, a high level of investment, but it also yeah. shows that my level of investment is cheap. It's easy yeah. to get my intent. And instead yeah. what I do, like I have very strict rules, like I'm not gonna fly a girl out, I'm not dating. I don't know, uh, and this is just a personal rule for me. I would, I would not be in a relationship with a woman I haven't already slept with. That's just a rule that yeah. I have. And those type of things, these are boundaries that I have. Also, the other thing is when men get around women, their vocal in intonation changes. So their pitch goes higher and they become yeah. more expressive and their eyes get big and you start yes. seeing autonomic responses. When you're around a lot of women, one of the things I do is I, because I'm around women, I don't get woman-like. Maintain masculine presence, even though I'm still like opening the door for them, even though I'm yeah. still being a gentleman. Um, J Justin Waller is a friend of mine. He's really good at this concept of being a good guy who still maintains frame and has boundaries and, and also the pre-selection and the mate choice copying other women find him attractive. Because of that, you're able to generate those bad boy attraction cues while at the same time still being good. So you get attraction and comfort. And I will tell you, it just is just in, for me in my own personal comparison between 25, I'm 46 now in between in that 20 year period, the outrageous the outrageously high level of attraction I get from women in comparison to when I was 25. This is what I noticed from, from these, uh, these attributes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, um, th th that this idea of th what you're talking about is riding the line between the two of these things, which mm. is a really excessively difficult skill. And one of the reasons that I, like, I, I, I don't, I should print it out. I have it on my phone. Um, I have this Aqual integral map that I use that is, I'm not sure if it's even going to show up. There it is. Uh, these are levels of psychological development. Uh, I guess my camera's not oh, quite good enough to see it. But yeah, these are levels of psychological development that I studied uh, academically. And part of what I do focuses on showing people where they are and how to move up. And I believe that moving people up in psychological development gives you more ability to understand what's going on in the mind of your Ooh, partner yeah. and in the mind of yourself. So you know when they're, when she's asking for this and this, and when you are feeling this and this, and it gives you more of an ability to, you know, in this environment where, where we, where we, this is what we're dealing with. And it's just this overwhelming, like society is changing in not good ways. Maybe, just moving up in on this scale is the only tool that we really have left to learn how to provide these when they're needed. And this is something that I've noticed that I've gotten really good at too. Like I started early in life being all this because I, I fell for it. They yes. said, be nice and women will like you. And I fell for it and they didn't like me. And so I said, well, so wait a minute, what do women like? Who are they spending time with? How do I become more like that? And then I went, whoa, and I just shifted over here. And I had, you know, no money and I was on unemployment. And I was just going through dozens of women and they were crying over me. And I was like, I told you, I didn't want to, you know, didn't know where I was going in three weeks. And now I'm at a point in my life where I know how to provide, you know, except for money, which I haven't gotten yet. I know how to provide what women need when they need it. And the relationships that I have been having have been really powerfully more positive than any that I've had in the past. 
And I'm hoping to be able to transfer that skill to other people through my videos and my personal coaching. I think it may, might be our only shot to just make that kind of go viral, the idea that you need to grow up and learn how to do that.